Hello fellow treasure hunters, welcome back. It has been an arduous 10 years for our brothers on the island, in spite of finding numerous artifacts and anomalies, and inviting countless specialists along for the ride, over the past few months Rick and Marty have felt the strain in regards to a lack of any valuable loot. This led them to begin a trail to find the original pit, since late last year they have been searching for the original shaft, the shaft found by the boys in 1795, all thanks to a small depression in the ground and the pulley hung on an old oak tree. A detail I seem to have overlooked during my quest for the truth, I began to suspect that English knights may have had a role in the hiding of treasure, however, as you may be aware, oak trees take quite a while to grow. So the hiders of the treasure would have came along after the builders of the island, the other neighboring islands, also discovered as man-made and discussed within the show, I seemed to have pinpointed as being English-made. Soon after they began this search for the original treasure shaft, a buzz has been felt around the island. Especially over the last month or so, huge machines have been brought in, and the site has been heavily restricted to onlookers. The director of the show, Kevin Burns has been itching to tell the press that they have found something, and this year more than any other, it seems certain they are coming back next season with some interesting information, to say the least. Many of my sources have been informing me that something has indeed been found on the island, but it may not be what has been shared, this may mean that something pretty amazing has been found, something controversial. You have to remember, anything of vast historical importance may or may not be the property of Canadian heritage, it may in fact be the property of a religious group, or it may be the lost or stolen treasures of other nations. For example, the ocean treasure hunting company Odyssey, will only take on a treasure hunting operation if the bounty's value is over a billion US dollars, and even when they successfully retrieve a bounty, spending, just like Marty and Rick, several millions on a hunt, the treasures can be seized and given back to sovereign nations in which they belong without Odyssey receiving a penny. I am not saying that whatever Rick and Marty may have found of course if anything, would not be revealed to the world eventually, but time would need to be spent in retrieval, and authentication. It would be a process that would be made more difficult with the world's attention raining down upon the island. There is most certainly plenty of secrets left on this island that are yet to be discovered, and it is indeed true that the money pit in which we see today could be in an entirely wrong position, so many holes have been dug on the island throughout the years, it's difficult to tell. But with feet on the ground, and an army of researchers behind them, Rick and Marty have had divers in these underground caverns, and I have had reliable data, which seems to be designed in such a way as hint to a greater discovery, that has led me to make this video. Gold detections, and suspicion as to whether they have found the elusive tunnel systems, after the installation of gigantic boring machines, and a closed off island, have began to rise. I did a little digging of my own, regarding the brothers, and I found them to be authentic people. As they stated on the show, which so often in television, could have been an exaggeration of fact, have indeed sunk all of their wealth into the Oak Island quest, both brothers put several million dollars into the island. Now, thanks to show revenue Rick's net value is now 500,000 US dollars. Marty bounced back better with his engineering businesses, and now has a worth of 2 million, they are not there for fun, or the show. These boys mean business. It is not as easy as some presume, unraveling the Oak Island mystery, numerous people have lost their lives trying, but I feel something has recently changed on that island. I will keep you posted.